what's up guys today we're doing something all new we're viewing a new house who doesn't like living in a new house who want to be the first one to live in a property i mean i lived in my property for the first time and i was the first one to do everything i know it sounds gross but the first one to poop in the toilet <laughs> Today we're viewing the three bedroom detached um, Tiverton. It is um, with Miller's home and it's one of the site which is in the northeast. However, I'm excited to view this property because I heard it's got a little bit bigger space in the kitchen than my one. So, so we're gonna start outside. So outside it's got the attached garage and it's in black but i'm sure probably you may be able to get it in a different color if you paint it that's the door going inside the front of the property that's the little patio area when you get inside the property first we're going to go into the living room just to check it out to see what size it is um as i can see the living room that they have got there it's not actually a bad size i do like it because you can have a two-piece sofa on one side and a three-piece sofa i mean i'm all about my corner sofa anyway i love my sofa bed i could live in my sofa bed if anybody know me they know i'm all about my sofas so my living room has to be a nice space if you agree gives me give me a thumbs up like subscribe and share so now we're going to take a walk through. Let's take a walk through. Let's check this property out. So that's the little front area. That's a storage cupboard, which uh, is very ideal to have. We all need storage. I have so much junk. I need storage. That's the front of the property. Again, we're going to go into the kitchen and take a look. So when we go into the kitchen, you can see they've got a dining table. So they stage you with a dining table with four chairs. It's a round table. It's not a bad size to be fair. I do like it. It's quite a neat size. They have got a massive garden, as you can see. I'll show you in a minute. They've got the integrated appliance as well, which is always nice to have. Everything is uniform. Everything match in your kitchen. This is a brand new house, guys. Everything has to be on top. That's the built-in um, oven at the top there and you can see as well they've got the um, integrated fridge freezer which is lovely. I've got integrated fridge freezer at my um, previous one and it was really nice. It's something nice to have because it's all tucked in. As you can see the kitchen is like a U shape. Um, yeah and on the other side you can see they, they do do the backsplashing glass. The garden is massive, however, the bad news, this garden is not just for one property, it's for two, because I'm going to show you the other one, they've got two. We're in the three bed and we're going to also take a look in the four bed. So let's take a walk, I believe we're going to come to the cloakroom downstairs, there we go, there we go, that's the cloakroom, I know my layout. And then we're going to take a walk upstairs to have a look at the bedroom size upstairs to see what they're like. Me personally, I do like that carpet on the floor because it's not too light, it's not too dark, it's just perfect. So that's the first bedroom. As you can see, they, they, they actually staged it with a single bed. However, my preference, I would probably keep it as a single bed because it's not a big room. As you can tell, it's a good English size room. That's the back garden there. From the view from upstairs, it's a lovely view. Imagine trampoline, barbecue, table on the deck, hot tub. That's what I'm talking about. It sounds nice, but like the garden is not only going to be yours, it's going to be split in two. So you're going to have to share it. <laughs> it's not all yours. So that's the second bedroom, bedroom two. It is a good size. It takes a double bed. And as you can see, you've got space at the bottom for a nice little chair to browse and read. Or, I mean, if you're anything like me, play on your iPhone. I mean, watch videos on your, your computers. That's the main family bathroom. It's got a lovely, lovely, lovely storage cupboard there on the sink. I've never really seen that one before. It's quite unique in that particular color you can see the bar there's quite a deep part as well going into the master bedroom 
so that's the master bedroom that's my favorite bit because that will be mine and my hubby's space no kids allowed they can only visit that's it <laughs> they can't sleep so that's the wardrobe space that you're looking at and the bathroom that's the hand suite for the master bedroom as you can see it's a stand-up shower it's a really nice shower i must say the shower it is really nice it's one of them broad showers um which i do like and as you can see it's all finished off there with sort of the same flooring similar to what's in the other bathroom the family bathroom that's the wardrobe there the built-in wardrobe it's got a really really big built-in wardrobe i must say that's a plus for me because that wardrobe will be only for me um sliding wardrobe half is basically hanger and half is shelves which is always good to have the bedroom is a generous size bedroom it's not massive however you could still fit your king size bed in here as you can see i was spinning the camera trying to get it from each hand handle in here but guys if you like this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share because i need to hit that thousand subscriber mark and if you like this property please let me know in the comment below and i'll keep it coming thanks for